I'm, I'm actually not in Itafaji. I'm on Freeland, uh, Freeman Street here on the Lagos Island. I would love for the camera to take you through uh, the shots of the building that is already undergoing a manual a, a, a manual demolition right now. As it is on Freeman Street on Lagos Island, another three-story building is being demolished manually by the Lagos State Building Control Agency. And what we've gathered is that about 80 buildings on the Lagos Island alone has been marked for demolition. This one was actually marked in 2018 and it's it's been demolished uh, uh, right now um well I, i'm here also with um the the acting general manager of the agency the lagos state um, building control agency who will be speaking to us particularly about the reason for the demolition but i must tell you that it is, it is not unconnected uh, with the three-story building that caved in uh, on massey street that's in itafaji just a few days ago on the 13th of march uh, that the, the, this building actually caved in and killed some students uh, who were in school session and some residents who reside who resided uh, in that building so let's speak with the acting general manager of Lapska, who will be telling us the reason, more reasons, why this building is coming down today. Um, it's good to have you on, on, on the program. Yeah, this is morning. Channels Television. Can you tell us the reason why the agency has uh, swept into this building today? Uh, I can see that the owners and the, um, the tenants are recalcitrant. In as much as we try to evict them, they continue, um, they evade um, arrest, they, evade, they try as much as possible to go through in through the back door. So, and we feel that this structure might come down as soon as possible, and that's why we have to bring it down today. The Excellency has given us the directive to go ahead and remove almost 50, over 80 structures in Lagos Island within, um, before the end of the month, and we're trying to do them in phases. For today, we are removing three. And um, I, I assure you that life will be better for Lagosians and the security and the safety of Lagosians is eminent in the heart of His Excellency. We understand that the agency has already uh, marked about 80 buildings on the island alone for, for demolition. Uh, where, and where are these buildings and when were they uh, marked for demolition? Because we understand that it's been a backlog and I'm wondering why it's taking so long for these buildings to come down? Yeah, there is actually a lot of legal tussles, you know, that relates to demolitions. There are so much cases in court. For this one, we just had the clearance from the court to remove it last week, and that's why we are moving it right away. When we leave here, we are moving to Smith. We are also moving to um, um, Palm Church. And an Alini Jadele. We have actually uh, marked over 20 structures within the Alini Jadele access for removal, and we're going to do it as soon as possible. It's an order from His Excellency, and it has to be obeyed. Okay, so it means that if you're not cleared by the court, you cannot go down to demolish the buildings. But what about considering the fact that um, the safety of the environment, the safety of the people uh, who live around such buildings that, you know, pose a threat? Because I, I, I can see, right, I need a camera to, please, can you just... I need the camera to go to this particular building that is being demolished and we can see some adjoining buildings that are just very close by to this building. So when we keep... when the demolition keeps being prolonged. Is this not a threat to the safety of those who live around there? What we're trying to do is try to evacuate the occupants of most of the structures that are eminent to collapse. And we're trying as much as possible to do that. Although you can see that the, 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 in the neighborhood, people are actually recalcitrant. They, you know, if you move out of here today and we don't remove this one, before you know it, they are back to the building. And we're trying as much as possible. We're putting security in place that no occupants, no lives will be lost in Lagos anymore. No more. Thank you very much. That's the acting GM for the, from the Lagos State uh, Building Control Agency. And I must tell you, uh, just as he said, he said that the agency has been going through some challenges in trying to bring down the buildings that have been marked for demolition. But I must tell you that what we have seen from this building that is being demolished is uh, what I, I, he's told us um, is...
substandard building materials. And this building has been there for a while. And when I spoke to one of the residents who was around me, he told me that they are actually particularly happy that this building is coming down and as it has been a threat to their lives. Uh, let's hear one of the residents who will be speaking um, to us. He's just walking on into the camera. Uh, it's good to meet you here this morning. morning. I can see smiles all over you. you. You're happy that this building is coming down. You want to tell us more about that? Yes, of course. My name is Rashid Ali, and I, uh, I've been living here, and uh, I was born here, and I was brought up here. So this morning, uh, as the Lagos State Agency came, I was so happy because the, because the last uh, incident that happened at uh, uh, Lagos Island here that killed some of the people, and uh, including some uh, children. So I was so sad that they and learned that them. Uh, I give, uh, I give. Uh, I give uh, uh, thanks to God and I give thanks to the, gov uh, the governor, Akin Umiyambodi, and the legal state agency that, 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 yes, since, since that was the, the, uh, the incident that occurred yesterday, and the, the, uh, the governor came there and I was there, so it takes some action. So this building now uh, is the action that, that, we, that we saw this morning, and, and because of our own safety, it's not about the, what people with people. We see. So I thank the, the, the governor and the, and the, and the NGC. Thank you. All right, so that's one of the residents of this particular street, Freeman Street on Lagos Island. And I must tell you that what I've been able to gather from other experts about um, buildings and, and their challenges, their, their threats, uh, perhaps safety, so to speak, is that some, of the, some experts have told us that the result of building collapse or what causes building collapse, you know, starts from the poor workmanship, from the bad design, use of substandard building materials, um, foundation failure, which of course I've been told uh, about this building, that the, it's, it's substandard building materials have been used for this building and the foundation structure is also not right. We've also been told about the faulty construction and about the extraordinary loads. If you look through this building, it's a three-story building, but it doesn't, it doesn't look as if it's stabilized where it is. So for the residents, they're happy that the government is sweeping into action and it is not just words on paper.